If you'd like to initiate a lively dinner table conversation, bring up the topic of bathroom hygiene. Uh, I guess not. People have feelings about the best bathroom hygiene practices. I want to show you today about the bidet, B-I-D-E-T. This is the thin line bidet attachment. This is one that attaches to your already existing toilet. And this bidet will help keep your fanny fresh after doing what you do do in the restroom. Gooby doo can do do. And uh, it's something that we're not too familiar with here in the United States, though it's becoming more and more popular these days, especially ones that we can attach to all already existing uh, toilets. I'm not here to persuade you that a bidet is the wave of the future or the water blast of the future, however you want to put it. Righteous! But if you're considering one, I'm going to teach you how to install one very quickly. In addition, I'm going to tell you why I chose this one, even though it came with a bent box. Um, I chose this one for a specific reason. Watch all the way to the end and I'll tell you why I chose this as opposed to other ones. In fact, this one sells for about eight to ten dollars more than some of the other ones. Why would I spend that much more for this bidet over other ones? I'll tell you why. Let's get to work and install this thing. It should be a blast. All right, let's see what's in this banged up box. I have the thin line bidet. I have the manual, the warranty, a hose to hook it up to the toilet, flanges to fill in the gaps here, and a connection, and a little bit of Teflon tape. First thing we're gonna do is turn off the water source so that there's no more water feeding into the toilet. Second thing we're gonna do is flush the toilet. A royal flush. This is to make sure that no more water is flowing in here and I can't hear any more water coming in, so this is stopped. So I've got a little bowl that I'm gonna to use to catch any of the drips falling down as well as direct the excess water from this hose now I'm going to add this piece onto the toilet to connect my new hose. But before I do, I'm gonna add some Teflon tape to ensure that it doesn't drip. Teflon tape fills in all of the gaps in here. As you tighten it, it compresses and then begins to expand out again, which makes it so the water will not leak through the threads. So you can be pretty generous. Now I'm going to put on this connector piece. You need to be really careful when you're attaching something metal to something plastic. And this is a plastic PVC um, connection coming out of the toilet tank. It can cross thread really easily. So I want to start it very slowly and make sure that it's going on straight. And then I can begin to tighten it. When I've hand tightened it and can't tighten it anymore, I'll go ahead and move on to the crescent wrench. Then I'll just apply this back again, hand tightened. And now again, I'm going to put on some Teflon tape and hand tighten. I'll finish tightening with the crescent wrench. And there's no need to over tighten. It only needs to be just tight. Was that a vague statement? Just tight? You just don't need to crank down on it with a lot of torque. Now let's attach the top part of the bidet. We're gonna do that by removing the washers underneath here that are plastic and they have little wings on them so you can tighten and loosen these by hand. I want to open this and hold the screw in place so that it doesn't turn as I loosen. With those loosened, now I'll remove the toilet seat. <laughs> probably clean it, because I'll be honest with you, it's gonna be gross, because underneath here, they never see the cleaning rag. <laughs> it needs to be removed to be cleaned. I'll censor this part. Wow, that was so clean. The flanges just fit into place, they snap in, just like that, and they rotate, so that they can meet the holes that where the seed is received and I can choose how far over I want it to sit by adjusting this. As mine's a snap-on seat, all I have to do is connect the connector onto here and tighten it up. Now I just put the seat back into place. 
Now with the seat back into place, all I have to do is connect up the feed line. And this one I'm gonna do just by hand because it's a plastic connector and this has got a rubber gasket inside of it. And I should be about done. I sit on the toilet with- That one's to clean it out. That keeps the water fresh and clean. That one's to clean you out. Now the answer to your burning question. Why this one over all the other ones? It's pretty simple. I've got boys in my house. Here we go. When they use the bathroom standing up, quite often their aim is not as good as it should be. He did it! He missed the barn! Which means the outside of the toilet sometimes gets dirty. I didn't want any controls on the bidet that had any protuberances or bumps or crevices or knobs or turning things. This one is simple. I can wash right along there and keep it completely clean without having to worry about scrubbing underneath and around and through. And I just want cleanliness. That's why I chose this one. Again, this is Jared from DIY with Confidence. Thanks for watching this video. It was good, clean fun putting it together for you. I hope this was helpful for you in seeing how to install a bidet in your home, and I hope you enjoy that, as well as why I chose this one. I hope you enjoy that. So if you've enjoyed this video, please like it down below, and leave some comments if you have any other questions about bidets or toilets, or if I can help anything else in your house or car or care in doing it yourself. Please leave a comment. I will reply to those as well. Will you take some time, please, and subscribe to this so that you can see uh, other videos that I'll be producing on a weekly basis. We'll see you next time on DIY with Confidence.